here's a pair of trucks that I did um, using the old uh, thrill drivers um, decals and uh, I drilled these apart and then I soaked the base in uh, the purple cleaner uh, I'll think of the name of it here in a minute um, the uh, decals did not run long enough to extend the whole way so I actually cut them and then put that Chevy trucks in the middle probably wouldn't do that again I'd think of another way of putting these uh, decals on um, also got the Chevrolet decal for the back this one has the uh, black insert I used uh, ID wheels which I really love to use but I should have used ID wheels that were that were chrome instead of the black this is the white one how it turned out I used the red interior in this one Turned out decent, but there's uh, definitely some things that I would change uh, if I was gonna make this pair of trucks again. Uh, one thing that I really dislike about the 83 Silverado casting is I hate that billet grill. I wish that it had a, a stock grill in it. And uh, there are some aftermarket 3D printed ones that we'll get to later, but uh, there's the Thrill Drivers 83 Silverados. I love customizing Silverados. So this one here, I tried to go for the uh, Scrap Tona look on this one here. I don't know if you've seen that Superbird that's, car uh, not a Superbird, but uh, Charger Daytona that they call Scrap Tona. Um, that's the kind of the look that I was going for here. On this one, um, ordered some decals uh, for the Byway Man and put those on it. But uh, went for that look. Um, not totally pleased with the way that turned out. But this grill here is a 3D printed grill that uh, is supposed to be a GMC grill. Um, it's it's okay. It's, it's not much better than the, than the billet grill that came on these, I don't think. But uh, there's my attempt at a scrap tone of look. Here we have the Byway Man casting, or maybe this one was called Power Plower, I can't remember. But uh, converted this one to uh, a two-wheel drive look. So I had to search for... Uh, a car for a donor base that had the the right uh, wheelbase there and what I found was very close is the, uh, the 68 Nova 68 Nova is very close so I took that base and as you can see put that in uh, about half the rivet on front and back then the bumper on this is actually just glued in the bumper from the byway man the uh, grill on this is from the uh, I think it's the Matchbox 75 Stepside truck is what that one is called. Now the problem with this one, it turned out pretty good using the paint off of the uh, the original car. However, the casting is so rough. You can see there on the front how that casting is just uh, it's got a an edge to it there it's got a, a, a casting uh, I don't know what you call that help me out in the comments what do you call that in the casting when it's got extra so uh, I, I think it's called the castings probably worn out by this point they had used it for years but uh, I was I was pleased with the way this one turned out you'll see that I definitely have a, a Chevy bent to these customs that I'm going to show you here this one here was just a simple repaint with a rattle can of that purple and then uh, ordered some Aztec decals on this one here. 
this is another one that I took the base and soaked it uh, to remove the chrome off of the base. Um, this one has the uh, 3D printed grill in it, um, which I really like the, the stock look on this one here. But if you'll notice, the bow tie is backwards. So they kind of got that wrong a little bit. But it's a pretty nice looking grill. I like it. Um, again, very simple paint. Uh, I am I am no painter. I don't have those skills. It's something that I would like to learn. I have a I have a airbrush in a box that I just haven't had time to get out and really use and learn. But uh, there's my uh, Aztec 83 Silverado. I'll switch it up on you here and get a Ford in there. This is just a super simple one. Picked this piece up at a toy show. It was missing the bikes. Uh, totally beat. And all I did was uh, drilled it apart. I, uh, I replaced I replaced the wheels with some uh, reel riders. And then in the bed, I, I can't remember what I got that piece out of. That I'm not sure. But just cut that to size and snap down in the bed. But uh, it was a pretty cool look, really. Um, I was pleased with the way it turned out. Something that you might want to try with uh, with cars, trucks that have been well loved, and uh, just save them and, and something that, that, that kind of has a cool look. Back to Chevy. This is a Byway Man. Um, this is also using the, the 68 Nova base um, bumper from the original, just cut off and sectioned in. The, the grill on this is also from that, uh, that Matchbox. Uh, like I say, I believe it's the 75 step side. Decals are from a power plower. Um, however, to make them fit right, you had to put them on the wrong side. This one is actually meant to be on the uh, on the passenger side. However, it, it didn't look right uh, to put them on there that way. So that's why they're on there backwards. Um, just didn't quite fit the door right. Um, so this one here uh, also is just a rattle can paint. Um, speedy removal. This one here was a total copy of a, of a truck that I saw online that somebody uh, tried this type of uh, finish and uh, so I had some light blue paint and uh, I just painted over uh, I believe is what I did painted over the original paint and then just sanded through a little bit. Uh, I may have put a, a layer of uh, primer under this. I can't quite remember. But I think this is one where the ID wheels uh, work very well. I love using those ID wheels. Um, then I uh, detailed it a little bit, put the headlights in. Um, just tried to make it look like it was a, a really beat up um, late model Chevy truck. Wanted it had a little bit of abuse. I really like the way the stance turned out in this truck here. Uh, it's a matchbox. Uh, for the base on this one, I was able to find the eight crate. Uh, wheelbase works very well on that. And it is narrow enough that the wheels fit uh, inside the uh, fenders. The, the bumpers and the grill are both just uh, cut out of the original base and, uh, and glued in. I don't know exactly what I was doing for the the paint on this one. It certainly doesn't look like a like a natural rusted barn find at all. Um, but it look I guess it's interesting looking. Um, I don't know. What do you think of it? Some people like it. Some people thought it was rather dumb. Uh, for the for the simulated rust on that, I used I used colored pencils. Is what I used to do that. On the uh, on the D200. Here is one 
that uh, I tried to make it look uh, like maybe something that Mattel would have done. Um, reused the decals off of a Baja breaker to go on to the Byway Man. And then uh, didn't do any other modifications to it, just a simple enamel paint job with uh, some green that looks like it might have been a Mattel green and uh, slap those Baja breaker decals on there. And uh, I think that's what that's called. No, I'm sorry, Baja Bruiser. Baja Breaker is the van, Baja Bruiser. Uh, turned out uh, turned out pretty good. Uh, I, was, I was going for that, uh, that Mattel look on this one here. And uh, the, the decals look pretty good on that. You know how they uh, reused uh, Tampo designs on some of the uh, cars that were coming out of India, those Leos. I guess that's part of the idea that I had on this one here. Another byway, man. This one started out as the Matchbox uh, circus truck and uh, the, needed a base swap for this one. I searched around and what this came off of was a Super Tuned. So. Uh, similar to the other trucks that I showed you, I got the the bumpers um, from the original and the grill from the original. Those are just cut off and then glued in. Uh, for this one here, uh, I, I painted it white and I didn't like the look, so then I sanded off almost all the white paint. And now... Um, I wish that I had painted this a color, probably white, um, and put the decals on. I think it would have looked pretty clean with the decals on. These are uh, off of uh, the Bronco decals, and that, that truck was white, and it looks pretty good. So that's uh, probably should, what I should have done if I did it over again. That's certainly what I would try. And the other thing is I definitely wouldn't try to make that Ford stand out. I tried to highlight that and uh, that was that was a mistake because it doesn't look very good. But, uh, you know, live and learn on that one. The, uh, this was uh, the, the insert there in the bed was actually out of a 62 Chevy. Uh, with the tubs there, there's the little, it's in there backwards, there's a the little slot that was used for the uh, uh, surfboard. I, I believe that's what that one was. But this one uh, really scrapes the ground. It, it bar The base barely clears when you push that one. But it does roll. Last truck for the video here. This one uh, is another Byway Man that I turned into a two-wheel drive. As I said before, that uh, 68 Nova base works really well. This one, uh, I tried to do a, a crazy looking paint job on it, just uh, uh, something psychedelic, something like a tie dye type of thing. I had those uh, moon decals, slap those on there. Um, the bumper, I can't remember what I got that bumper off of, because it's a chrome bumper, can't remember. Something donated that, the Chevrolet on the back. I made a tonneau cover for this one. And then I, I think the grill in this one was from an old yacht Ming um, that I found in a, in a beater pile. And I made that work on this one. Uh, again, just uh, glued in. Um, there you go, Moon Eyes. If you enjoy watching videos of finished customs, please let me know. And uh, I've got many more in the display case that we could look at. Mostly what I want to do with these videos is just show you some of the ideas that I've had for cars. And I don't have the greatest skills in the world by any means to create these customs. But if you could get some ideas for yourself to do, and you've got some skills, probably could make some pretty good looking trucks and cars. And it's a good way to just come down in the basement and kind of forget about the world's troubles for a minute or two. Please like and subscribe if you like these type of videos.
Thank you for watching.